Hey guys, so I thought we would try something different today, so we are playing Minecraft. So I already have a world set up, I haven't done anything to it, it's a brand new world, and I'm gonna do a tutorial today. I will be building just this small little starter hut. Well, say starter hut. This is more like past the first night and into like the fourth or fifth nights where you have more resources. This is like before you get enough resources to make a big house. But you have enough resources to make a good house. So the materials you will need is depending on what biome you are in. Um, this first one that I do uh, will be in a oak biome. It's just like forest and stuff. And... You'll need oak wood logs and oak wood planks. You'll need a little bit of cobblestone. You'll need either glass or glass panes. I'd recommend glass panes because it looks better. And you only need six glass to make 16 glass panes, I th believe. So you just get more. Um, you're going to need some cobblestone stairs, some oak wood stairs, a door, and that's all for now. So once you find where you want to build this thing, you're going to want to start out with a frame. So... I'd say, for the main building itself, make it a square. Seven or eight blocks wide, I prefer. Or even nine blocks. And then nine blocks wide, light, long or whatever. So, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then just finish the square like this. And then once you've done that, you want to add a, you don't want a house that's a perfect square or that's just like one little building like this. You want to add to it. So I'd say add like three or four blocks out and that'll give you like a chest room or something or even a bedroom and because I like stuff symmetrical I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side though you don't need to so this is the basic outline of the building. Um, for those of you who want to know, this is nine blocks as I said. This is nine blocks. So, this is four, this is seven, and the same thing over here. Now, on each of the corners, you want to build up four three or four oak logs four is the best if you you don't really want to do five because then it'll be a little too tall but on every corner you want to do this And so we're almost done here. I 
I am playing this on my mobile device, so if it seems a little inaccurate to you, that's because my device is small. But so once you've done this, you want to find the front of the house. For me, that's going to be right here. And you just want a door. <coughs> Apologies about that. I am a little sick. I have been sick for the past three or four days. But, so, for the very front, of course, you're going to want some cobblestone stairs leading up. But we're going to have two windows, just like this. Um, I've been told that this will make it look like a face. But, not much you can do about that. For the, these panels on the sides and in the back, um, we're going to have another window, two, block, two, by, two, blocks by one, two blocks tall, one block wide. Can't, I had trouble finding the words for that. But see, that would be on all four of these sides. So I'm just going to do that and I'll be right back. So I have finished these window pane panels. And we now just have three more to do. I'm going to do the one in the back of this, so this one. So what you will need to do is one row here, then oak planks on each side, the same for the second row after that. And then you want to just complete it like this. Whoops. So you have a big window here. Um, we're going to make it a bay window. So to make it a bay window, you simply have to do that. And then just a little bit of support. And then, of course, one on the top. Now, if you don't want a bay window, all you need to do is just fill in glass all right here. And now you kind of have a bay window. Um, this is my first time really making a bay window. I don't make them very much. So I'm just going to experiment with a couple of different things. Um, maybe if we do this. And then this. Then here. Hang in there and again, I'm just experimenting couple of different things. Um, you don't necessarily need this design of window. 
Um, you can always just have the the straight on window. I just want a bay window. Let's see. Yeah, this works from the inside. And the only thing left to do is see how it works from the outside. Let's put oak wood planks just right here. And yeah. So if you want to do a bay window, you come out two blocks. Um, from this whole window area, one block out, and then, well, I think you can piece together exactly what you do. Oops. So... Now we just have these last two panels. I was thinking maybe have a little side entrance. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to frame this area just to give me a little sense of what we can do. So Actually, I think the side entrance can go, yeah, right here. And then... Just a door. That's not a door. Sorry about that. A door. Stairs. And we will add some windows. There we go. And this side will just be a full window. So, oops. So if we just do this. And then glass all in here. Just another quick reason why I have, like five block pill wood pillars is because it makes these windows a big pain. Well, I guess yeah, those are window panes, but you have to line it up exactly, so it makes it just really difficult. But if you want a five block tall towers go ahead I just don't prefer them because of that small little fact so now that we've done all of this now we start working on the upstairs now the upstairs we just want to do this and this and now we've framed our upstairs area these two sides they are single story and it'll make it look a lot better when we do the roof so Again, build up four blocks on each of, on each of the corners. One, two, th three, uh, three, four. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Now that we have this, oh, this is only three. Let me just go fix that. 
So now that we have this one, we're not going to do these side frames yet, but we are going to do the front and the back. So, for this one, I'm going to do this and build up, build up. Then over and I'm just gonna divide this up so that actually no, because then that might look too much like a face. So now we just want to put glass panes right in here. a second right now I'm gonna change this to one block windows cut because I want you to be able to see that there are two floors um, if you don't want to you don't have to but that's just my personal preference I should probably do it with this. Oops. I think I have to just do it. Even on these, because having a good frame is always important, and I seem to have missed that little part of it. So, uh, I'm not going to do it for the bay window. You'll see why in a second. But if you don't have a bay window here, then, um, you should do it. Again. Um. If I had remembered this, I would have made it five blocks high. But. I didn't remember. I know that just contradicts what I ju did just say, but I like five block high if I do a well done frame. So like a frame like this. So now that I have the frame, I am going to do the back one which is a balcony so what I'm gonna do is just do it all like this not much point putting a window on a balcony since it's such a small little one but I'm just gonna do this I guess I should probably put a frame for this front one as well. Shame, it really, I really like those tall windows. But, oh well. <coughs> so when 
anyway. A little door right in the front. And again, if you didn't do the bay window, you duplicate the front. But I'm gonna put some simple oak fence. Yes, it is a small balcony, but the only purpose of it is just to look out. And we're gonna put a door here. Oh, yep, let's just finish this. So again, if you don't have the bay window, the, fr the back is the sa exactly the same as the front. Now, we are going to do a little bit of this. Which is just something on the sides. Just like that. Then if then we do it again on the other side. And that is all the walling we will do. Your house should look like this. Um in the front something like this at least and then in the back if you did the bay window it should be all flat but now let's start the roof so I like to do the roof so that it starts with this front the t biggest part first and the tallest part so you're going to want to put cobblestone as an outline. <coughs> Sorry about that. Cobblestone as an outline. Just like this. And I always forget to make a framework for the roof, but here we go. Um, I just remembered we are going to need some cobblestone slabs. So if we just grab those real quick. This is our frame for the roof. Let's duplicate it on this side. <coughs> Again, I'm sick. I feel like I'm getting a little bit better. But... It was, it's been terrible. I was sick on Christmas Eve. Christmas Day. I lost my voice a little bit. It was just terrible. But so right now what I'm doing is I'm doing two things at once. I'm building up the frame for the oak and I'm adding a little bit of detail <coughs> this makes it easier to see exactly what it will look like before you finish the roof And so I'm almost done here. Shoot. Okay. So 
So now that we're almost done the front of the roof, we're gonna have to do the back of the roof, which is exactly the same. Um, I'm going to do the. I'm just gonna connect them right now through the top, which is just slabs. Just like this, with a cobblestone stair like that, and you're just going to do the same thing you did as in the front. So has how has everyone's holidays been? What was your favorite present? You can tell me that in the comments below. Me personally, I have three favorite presents. <coughs> and they were a loom, a weaving loom. So I can make scarves, purses, bags, coasters. Um, I got this labyrinth game where you have to get the marble through the maze by twisting some knobs. And my absolute favorite thing was the Alex and Ani Harry Potter Deathly Hallowed Jewelry. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Alex and Ani have released a Harry Potter jewelry and they, my favorite, I wanted the Deathly Hallow because it ha it came in the earrings, the ring, the necklace, and the bracelet. And I got all of those for Christmas. And I'm just really excited. For those of you who know me in school, I will probably be wearing all of those first day back. So you can see it there. And... Now let's just finish the roof. <coughs> Sorry about that. So we're just going to... Let me just think for a second. Okay, we're going to fill this all in with glass panes. This is what I hate about glass panes. There we go. Nice big window. Now before we finish the roof, I'm just going to do the outline for these little side panels. I actually did this perfectly right so that the, the this roof and this roof would link up but we're not again we're not gonna do this until oh I miss, seems I missed a part in the framing I'm just gonna fix that right now Um, but I, yeah, I timed this, ex well, I didn't time it, I built it exactly 
so that it links up. And that's the frame. For those of you who don't understand what I mean by link up, I'm just going to do the framework of the roof for <coughs> these smaller sections. So if I just do this, you can see that they join together. Still going to do this last little one. There we go. They join together and I'm not saying it always looks good but it's just a strange coincidence I didn't plan for that to happen at all now if you did it three blocks so like three blocks here um, <clears throat> you would have come up just a little bit under which can in some points look better But, I think with this design, this looks good, and, and I'm just going to do it for the other side, and I will be right back. So, I have finished doing the outline. Um, I do have a cough drop in my mouth. Because my throat was really annoying me. But now that we've done the outline for everything, you must notice that we can fly right through the roof. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our oak wood stairs. We're going to start with the biggest portion. Because that will take the longest. So we're just going to fill in the roof. And I will probably just speed this up. So here we go. So. I want to know in this little time-lapse chat, I guess I could call it, do you like what I'm doing right now? Do you like building? And, <clears throat> and would you want to see more, um, more of this? I could do some redstone tutorials <clears throat> and some Let's Plays. But, I do want to know, do you want to see more? If you do, put your answer in the comments below. And, that's all. So, I have finished this main roof. And now I'm just going to do the smaller roofs. Again, I'm going to speed it up, and yeah. So that's the roof done. And just a few more things before we finish up. We just need to put a couple of windows in these little sections so just like this and now we just have to do the inside I will 
do that, maybe do a little bit of different things to the front, and I will be right back. So I finished doing the interior. I, while decorating it, I did try to remember that you are probably building it in survival. So I tried to do it so that you could easily access most of the materials. So here we are. I did a little bit to the outside. I've added a little path coarse dirt and gravel. For those of you who don't know, coarse dirt is made out of dirt and gravel. Um, I added a little bit of a hedge and a fence surrounding the path. And now let's go inside. So inside I have a little kitchen area. There's a little storage unit here. I have the bay window and a little bit of a table. Now, most of this is just meant to look good. Upstairs is where all the purpose is. So, here we are. Um, now, just thinking about it, I'm going to add a little bit of. Uh, well, I'm going to add a crafting table in here for easy access because we have the bedroom we have some armor stands but we have storage in here so that's why I wanted to add a crafting table and more storage here we have the balcony I didn't do anything to it and finally up to the attic in the attic, I have more storage. Um, the If you're wondering how I did this, you can see I have a trap chest here. The reason why I did that is because if I didn't, it wouldn't look even, and that would really annoy me. So, yeah. Um, that is the end of the tutorial um again i did build this with the intention of your in survival and in an oak biome i will do more of these in with different types of wood for like the different biomes but i hope you all enjoyed thanks for watching if you want to see more, please leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe.